Duchess in the Frat House and I am here today to do a collab with Lauren. She is Lauren's Organized Chaos on Instagram. She is Lauren here on YouTube and I will link to her channel and her part of this collab video down below in the description box and in the blog post too. Um, after reading Ryder Carroll's Bullet Journal Method in July, I was really struck by the idea of method versus system. You can see those as the same thing. Just because this is the way I think does not mean that this is the way anybody else should think. But I was really struck by that. I like the idea of you have a system. I have had a system in my planner for years that gets tweaked here and there, but pretty much works the same because I've found what works for my brain, right? But I see method and system as two different things. So I asked Lauren, I'm like, do you see method and system as two different things? So we kind of wanted to explore why I see them as two different things, and then she's going to tell you what she thinks in her video. And I'm looking down at notes, so bear with me. Um, for me, in my planning, in order for me to be happy in it, for me to be efficient with it, for me to be productive through it, I need both breadth and depth in my planning. And for a long time now, I've been feeling like I've been missing the depth. Breadth-wise, my system can handle. I you know, there are days that are so light, there's just basically nothing in my planner. There are days that are super heavy, just with appointments and, you know, a lot of driving people places, and kids and, you know, schedules and overlapping schedules and a lot of things that come at you from the world, whatever that may be, work or family or your own personal things during the day, right? So breadth-wise, I felt like my system could handle it, but I didn't feel that, I felt I was lacking depth. And I need both of those. My system can handle the breadth. The method is what gives depth for me, okay? Um, Ryder Carroll says in a few different videos that he's done that the bullet journal system is a mindfulness practice disguised as a productivity system. And that's what my brain needs. I need both of those pieces. I need, he talks about in one video that that's what the bullet journal method book is about is kind of the overlapping of the planning and the mindfulness. And that area in between is what the book talks about. And I need that area in between just in general, just to feel good, just to feel like I have motivation. For me, having a method helps clear distractions. It doesn't completely get rid of self-doubt because I think that's something that we all, all of us, are always going to have and always going to struggle with. Um, a lot of times doubt or fear is something that mindfulness, my method, helps me, and I'm getting better at this, I still struggle hardcore with this, but I'm trying to make an effort through my method, through mindfulness, to kind of acknowledge it. Yeah, I'm afraid of trying that. I doubt myself. I see you, self-doubt. <laughs> now, go on. <laughs> get out of my way, I have things to do. <laughs> so having a method helps me do that. The, the When it comes down to it for me, everything that comes at me during the day gets filtered through my method. It helps make it easier for me to say no to things that I know don't align with what I need to do and want to do. Things that come up that don't align with my drives. The method is the filter through which all of that input passes. Things that make it through the filter then get input into the system, okay? The system is like the nuts and bolts, the planning itself. The method is the filter through which all the input, anything from outside world, family, ideas of my own, anything like that, all gets put through the mindfulness, the method filter. Anything that makes it through the filter gets fed into the nuts and bolts, the system. Um, having a method helps me make connections between things that I normally maybe wouldn't have seen connections in between before. So I can maybe combine some of the things that I want to do and kind of do two of them at once, if that makes sense. Um, so combining my love of something with my want to, my maybe, um, get out more and do something that's just for me. Well, okay, I like to knit and if and I'm an introvert, so maybe for me to like go out and seek out meeting people, that's a big deal for me. So maybe I find a knitting group because I like to knit, it helps me feel productive, it makes my brain feel good, but then I'm also meeting people who also have a similar curiosity or a similar hobby, okay? Let's see, I'm gonna lose my spot here. 
Dun, dun, dun. The, so basically, if it's not obvious enough by now, the method, the idea of mindfulness, extends way beyond this, right? It kind of colors how I view the world and what I choose to take on versus not. What am I curious about? What am I thankful for? Those are all things that I can focus on if I'm being mindful, if I'm using my method. Um, my method makes sure that I am chasing what matters to me or those that I love. And then the system, the nuts and bolts, help me get those things accomplished as efficiently and productively as possible. The method helps me see why I'm doing the things that I'm doing. The system helps me see how to do them, right? And again, I want to kind of circle back to the beginning. I should have warned you it was going to be a short video. Not to belabor the point, but I need both breadth and depth. Mindfulness, the method, gives me that depth. It provides a filter through which all the input of the day can pass so that I can really distill things down to what matters most to me and to those I love. So the stuff I have to do, the stuff I really want to do, you know, my responsibilities to my family, you know, plus making room for personal projects, right? That's in the last six weeks or so, and I'm not saying I've got it down pat, you guys, because I don't, but I've just really struck by that in my head there was a separation between the two and I think before reading bullet journal method I wouldn't have said that. So that is it. Those are my reasons for why method versus system, why they're two different things to me. They don't have to be two different things to you. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. I would love to hear what you think. So first of all, go watch Lauren's video. I will link it down below and see what she has to say and then let us both know what is the difference between method versus system to you? Is there a difference? Are they so, maybe so intermingled that you don't see a difference? Which is, I mean, I think that's kind of ideal. <laughs> if I could get to the point where they just kind of flowed right together, that'd be perfect. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of it with me and I will talk to you all soon. Thank you, bye-bye.